Hello, I'm Jared, back with more experiments on the idea that warm air rises, heat rises. So why? You can see that heat rises with different experiments that we've already shown you. But why is that happening? So to show you that, I have a bottle with a balloon on top, and what's inside the bottle? Air is inside that bottle. Well, we can do something to that air. We can heat it or cool it to show you what's happening. And just so you can see what's happening, I put the balloon on top to capture that air. So I have a hot plate. I'm heating up a pot of hot water, not sticking my hand in it. It's pretty hot. A plastic bottle. When I stick the bottle in the hot water, it's going to heat the air inside that bottle. And you can see almost instantly that this air is actually rising. Well, why is it rising? It's because the, the molecules of air are heated up and they're actually spreading out. They're spreading out, becoming less dense, becoming lighter. And you can see all the air in this bottle is expanding, spreading out, taking the space up in this balloon. Wow, it's not going to blow up till it pops, but it is expanding. And as that air is heated, it expands and it becomes lighter than everything else around it. So it's taking up more space. Those molecules are moving around quicker, bumping into each other. They need more space. They're expanding. Well, now I have a bucket of ice water. I'm going to slow those molecules down. Drop it in. Almost right away, that air is collapsing, condensing down. You can see there's no air in the balloon because that air sinks. It drops. It's less dense. And all those air molecules are slowing down, coming tighter together. They don't need as much room. Wow, it's almost sucking the balloon into the bottle. Warm air rises. Cold air sinks. Neat concept. Thanks for watching.